Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. Um, the weather is not doing so well outside, so I thought it was the perfect time to film a YouTube video for you all. This is going to be a tutorial style video because I love these kind of videos like the tips and tricks and the makeup hack kind of videos. I'm going to show you how to contour your nose. So obviously everybody's noses are different, but I'm going to give you like some tips and tricks in this video and talk about different ways that you can make your nose look smaller larger straighter and in my case straighter because i have this defect out here as you can see here so this is me with no nose contour on i always feel so weird when i don't do my nose contour i don't know i feel like i look so different before i get into the video so i can prove to you that you can take my advice here is a before and after photo of my nose contour and how different it looks very much different it's insane yeah i have this and it's getting worse as i get older i'm actually getting a scepter rhinoplasty next march in turkey so i'm like really looking forward to that but i'm also really nervous as well i actually have a breathing problem if you look at my nose like this you can see this like is the side of the deviation it's actually lapsed so I can never get air up my nose. So that's probably also why my nose looks kind of crooked and it kind of sways, as you can see, to this side. You can see my nostril easily on this side, but not easily on this side, and that's because it like tilts one way. So lately I have been doing nose contour, which has been making such a crazy difference. It's crazy how much makeup can change your features or enhance your features. It's insane. I have been loving nose contour so much. It makes my nose look so cute, and I like the like lifted, button nose kind of look so I'm going to show you how I do that in today's video. Now I'm not saying this will work for everybody you'll have to change like kind of the areas you put your contour in because everybody's noses is different. By the way if you think I look slightly different it's because I've got my hair straight and at the back like I never wear my hair straight like I feel so different with straight hair it's insane. And also I got a top up of my lip filler and Botox so my lips are way bigger at the moment I only got them done on Wednesday and I drank a little bit of alcohol last night so I feel like they've gotten a little bit swollen this morning but I just like really packed on the lip liner and the lipstick and yeah I probably do my nose contour completely different to a lot of other people but I will usually stay away from creams because I feel like when I already do my makeup it will just make my nose look like real separated and muddy so I try to stick with powders only for contour. I know it's everyone does it so differently um, and I actually use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I think it's like the perfect tone. It's not too ash and it's not too like orangey brown. It's like the perfect in between for nose contour so yeah this is what i use and look how cute this one is this is like a mini a mini one and then for the brush i use a really small one the sigma eyeliner eo5 brush and it looks like this it's literally just a pointed brush so the first step i will do is take a brush this brush is the oldest scruffiest brush ever it is from trade me and it came in an 18 piece set it's made out of goat hairs and it's kind of like tapered literally take this brush dab it and then I put some like underneath my nose like this so oh my god by the way this smells and tastes like chocolate like because I'm doing this it's going up my nose and I'm literally like tasting it <laughs> but anyway I put this at the tip of my nose I do have like a slight droopy nose like it kind of like points down so this will give the illusion that your nose is like more lifted it gives it the illusion of a shadow i literally pack that on and then i take a little bit of the bronzer and i also and i put it way up to like here so that gives the illusion that my nose doesn't start down here it starts like up here i used to contour my nose too wide like i used to bring the shadow out to this shadow like out here but it made my nose look really wide and i only just changed this technique like a few weeks ago and i've been loving the difference so i will start from the inner shadow of this crookedness as you can see it like comes to there so what i will do is i will draw a line and i know this looks crazy but i start like really dark i'm gonna draw over this like look at this how much it changes and i'm trying to keep my lines really straight so i'm just drawing over this bump like completely over it like this 
Then what I will do is I will come down and do the other side. So I'll make it like quite thin. So start from there and then I go down. And I just try and draw it as straight as I can. Now I know I've done like nose contour in other videos, but like I'm gonna do it more in depth in this one. Because my nose sways more this way, I just try and stick to being straight, even though like I know it's like fully on edge. Okay, so after do I do that, I know it looks crazy. I do have like a bobble nose, like it goes smaller here, then it like becomes circular. So what I will do is I'll literally just draw over the whole thing with that powder so I will go like this I kind of need to like look up in here and I will just draw over that whole bubble bit like this and then what I do is I will draw a line here this will give you that lifted button nose kind of look so I draw a line there too I know it looks crazy like you guys just have to trust the process so and then I grab my finger, like I don't even grab a beauty blender because it just blends it in too much. And I just kind of blend in those lines with my finger. Then what I do is I grab a concealer. So I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 5 Ivory. So this one's good because it doesn't dry out too much. You don't want a concealer that just completely dries and it's hard to blend and you look like patchy. And this color's good too. You want like a brighter shade so what I do is I will grab it on that same brush and I will literally do a dot where I want my button nose to start like that and then what I do is I will slowly you have to concentrate with this one I will slowly draw a straight line down the center of my nose. This brush is really good for like drawing like eyeliner and contouring and everything. This brush is perfect. Okay and then after this step you want to just blend it in with your finger. So we do want the white part to stay like evident. Do you know what I mean? Like it's there. But this concealer is good because it doesn't like doesn't dry but it blends so easy even after like five minutes do you know what i mean it's like perfect for it so you just want to go like that and then blend slightly like you don't want to lose the darkness on either side and then you want to put some here too well you don't have to do that on you obviously but that's where my bump sticks out so we're giving the illusion of light here instead of a shadow so as you can see there, that like kind of disguised that. And then the next step, you want to set the nose. So I'm taking my Anastasia Alyssa Edwards palette because of this shade headliner. It's the best white that I've ever come across and it is beautiful. It's like so nice. So I'll use that same brush. Literally, I just use this brush for the whole nose contour. And you want to set that concealer because if you get like oily or sweaty, it's going to be coming through. So... I just go over that and then I'll do some here again okay then after that I will go in once more with the powder on any places that need it so I just make sure I really like come over this area and just slightly add a little bit more shadow and then the next step is to add blush so you guys don't have to do this but I put it way over my nose it just I don't know makes it look sun-kissed and kind of like gives you a distraction to the crookedness I don't know but I feel like it works for me so I use the L'Oreal blush sculpt trio contouring blush and this is in soft rosy you can use any blush that you like but I am obsessed with light blushes so oh my gosh I'm gonna pack my face in this because I absolutely love this blush blush is life all right and then we're gonna come over this area here so 
I'm gonna come right over this part of my nose and just down here too. So I'm gonna blush, blush, blush like that. And then it kind of like makes you focus on like the blush and not the crookedness and then it makes it look like real cutesy. So this is something I've been doing as well. I know it might seem excessive for some of you. First, I will just make sure that bottom is covered again and then I will go like this and this so I don't know it like kind of makes me feel like it looks straighter but it also gives me that filter look and I feel like this is all part of the nose contour so I just put some there like some bronzer powder only lasts so long in the night so I make sure that I get something that's gonna like just make it last so I get my brow pencil and yes, it's a real taupe shade, but I just draw a little line where this bump is here. So it just really looks straight because this that bump is what makes my nose look crooked. So I literally just go and I just take a little bit like this. Only the tiniest, tiniest bit. And when I do this, I just know that it's going to last all night. And yeah, that it's not going to fade off. And then I do a little bit on this side too. You don't have to do this obviously but this is what I've been doing and so many people compliment on my freckles and it's like they focus on the freckles and the blush and just your eyes and it like takes away from the fact that your nose might be crooked or whatever you're trying to achieve. Um, so I take the Revlon Color Stay Semi Permanent Brow Ink. This is for brows. By the way, this is a little bit hard to get off your skin because it, it's meant to last on your brows for like three days. but. This is the best thing ever for freckles. And I make sure that I put it like over the crooked bump as well. So like where it might be a bit darker or like sticking out. So I make sure that I really like put a massive freckle there. So as you can see here, it will like help to disguise your crookedness as well because like I kind of try and put it on the straight line to create the illusion of a straighter line. And I think freckles look so cute. And I've got this massive pimple here, which is annoying. And the freckles are good too, because I put it in my like pores, like where I used to have acne scarring as well. So it kind of like helps to disguise that and I know it looks crazy right now like I wouldn't just leave it like this it's way too intense so what you do is you take your finger and I mean I make sure they're left on for like a minute so they kind of are seen and then you just want to come along don't rub them just tap them like warm up your fingers and just tap them in. I kind of let these dry a little bit much because I'm filming a reel at the same time but um at least you can see them. But if you feel like they are a bit intense just take your beauty blender and tap over them. Oh yeah that works. Then because I blended everything over my nose like 10 times I just go back in with that brow pencil. By the way I didn't say what this pencil was. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow and Volumizing Pencil in the shade 3.75. I've been really enjoying this pencil. It is really good and it's got a spoolie on that side too. So go benefit. They've always got the best brow products. And then I do one more step. I know it's excessive, but this is how it goes. So I take the Jouer um, powder highlighter. I'm holding it like this because this one is like fully broken up. Why is it that all of my favorite highlighters are broken? But like, look at this. It's literally in pieces. So I'll just grab a little bit on my brush and I will just put it like way up on the tip. And this just, I don't know, it catches the light. And sometimes I put it just above the top here too, like a little bit of highlighter, just here. So there it is guys, here's a close up, there is the contoured nose. Um, I know it's not perfectly straight and you can still tell that it kind of sways to the side, but I feel like it looks so much better, like you can barely tell that I've got a bump out the side and it looks way straighter and it looks really cute with the blush and the freckles and it just really completes my makeup look. I really like the way it looks, so 
yeah, this is how I do it. And I know it seems excessive to some of you guys, but when you do have an insecurity like a crookedness in your nose, doing something like this makes you just feel so much more confident and it's crazy what makeup can do, honestly. I definitely got inspired to make this video because I seen this girl like do this crazy contour on Instagram reels and she'd like do contour making her nose crooked, then bumpy, then like wavy and she said the power of nose contour which was absolutely insane like that video went really viral she's done like two or three videos like that now and i was like oh my gosh like i technically do that but with my crookedness in my nose so why don't i film a video on how to make your nose straight if you guys do have a really wide nose or a crooked nose this is great for you guys to make it look slimmer and if you are the opposite, like if you have a really, really skinny nose and you want it to look wider, all you have to do is put the lines, like the contour lines, like on the outskirts, like out here on the outskirts, but on the widest bit of your nose and it m will make it look wider. So you can do lots of things like that. This is why I'm really looking forward to going to Turkey and getting this fixed because it's going to be fully straight and the bump's going to be gone and I'm going to feel so different, but I'm going to love it at the same time. I'm sure I will. So anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked this and you learned something from it. And if you have like a similar nose like me, or if you have a crooked nose, or you just want to make it look smaller and more cute then hopefully this video helped you guys out and you learned some tips and tricks that you guys are going to use let me know down below if you found this helpful and if you want to see more like makeup hack videos like this anyway give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i upload every monday at 8 a.m new zealand time and I upload youtube shorts every other day let me know down below in the comments what other videos you want to see next and i'll see you guys in my next week's video bye